Hey everyone, Glenn Victor here. We are at the United Safety Council monthly networking luncheon for the month of April. We are so glad to be here at the beautiful Crave restaurant in Orlando. Our topic this month is the Certified Occupational Safety Specialist Program, or the COST designation as it's become known as. We're so proud to have a panel of speakers here today. We have Kevin Yarborough, COST and instructor, Bushan Sukram cost instructor, as well as Lee Claycomb, a former cost graduate, and Sam Shaw, also a cost graduate. The cost program is phenomenal. I actually went through the cost program about a year ago, after 24 and a half years with OSHA. And I did it kind of, uh, I'll go to this class and see what little things I can learn, but I've been with OSHA for 25 years, 24 years. I don't expect I'll learn much. Well, was I ever surprised. OSHA is a regulatory agency and it deals with dealing with the consequences of failing to meet the standards. The cost side taught me the perspective from the contractor, not from the regulatory side. And I found out that there are a host of challenges that the contractors face that I didn't realize as a enforcement officer. So I'm excited about my opportunity being a cost instructor. From what I learned, it has enhanced my life from the OSHA side, from the consulting side. The uniqueness about the cost program, it's where to take all of the entity, the general industry and the construction industry, and you bring it up to the next level. It's a lot of hard work, but at the end of the week, when you come out of there with a designation, COSS at the end of your name, it's something that's really gratifying that you get that. The cost program kind of opened my eyes to a lot of different type things that uh, go on in, in all different areas the, the sheriff's office has. Because we're a governmental organization, a lot of things they say don't apply because we don't fall strictly under OSHA, but safety applies no matter who it's under. And I've been able to kind of instill a little bit of that to, to other people and, and kind of help people go home safe at night. Glad to come out and talk about the COSH program and talk about how it changed my outlook, you know, on safety and all that and the things that I learned there. You know, being in safety about 15 years, you know, you can always learn something new. And I really did learn stuff, a lot of new things and all when it got into the behavioral side of safety which I think is very important in the safety programs. And of course, lots of people from our membership are here today to hear all about this great program. One of the biggest things that we find out in the loss control part of our company is that very few companies take advantage of programs that are available to them. I can say is we need to get more people like we had here today to listen to these speakers. This is an excellent, excellent opportunity. Actually, I've been very interested in the cost program for myself because as you mentioned, the guy that gets appointed, you're the safety guy. I'm him, so I've got a lot to learn. And I've been looking at the cost program for a while, so I wanted to come and hear what I could about it, and I'm very interested at this point. Oh, I look forward to the opportunity to meet co-workers in the industry, get share some uh, ideas back and forth, learn about COSS and how it can help me advance my career. For our company, they're all about certifications. For what we do, we make sure that we're qualified to do our job, and they like us to do continuing education and improve ourselves. So, you know, it's all about improving the company and make sure we're doing things right, smart, and effective. Uh, well, so far it's been great. I've already met a couple folks that uh, really believe in the, the whole concept of safety first, and um, they kind of shared some of their uh, uh, culture with me, how they take it back to work, and how they've been through the program, and, and the behavioral aspects, and how it's been beneficial. So being here 10 minutes, it's already been an awesome event. I've already learned a lot. COS has graduates now in 48 of the 50 United States, also graduates of the program in 27 different countries around the world. We had two official announcements we were so happy to make here today. There is now a veterans reimbursement program in place for our vets when they come back and join civilian life again. They can go through the cost program and get a reimbursement for the tuition. We also have a scholarship program now available that's generated through the Safety Council Scholarship Golf Tournament that we'll be awarding once a year at the Safety Council's annual awards banquet in January. Yeah, I feel 
feel that the class program is an awesome opportunity for veterans because of not only of it uh, allowing them to get their OSHA certification, it also gives them certification as far as being in supervisory, but it's all being reimbursed. So the veteran is basically having the expertise of going to be an employee, but they're more marketable with the certifications that are necessary for that. Um, and I think it's an awesome program that's being set aside. Um, and from my understanding, it's all over the United States. And I am sure definitely going to advertise it on my Facebook and on my website for other opportunities for vets. Everyone had a great time here today. Lots of business cards were exchanged and business contacts made. And of course, the food is always great here at the Crave. Well, I thought today was a great luncheon. I am fairly new to United Safety Council. so. Hearing from Kevin was just a great experience and learning more about costs. It's very interesting to hear the different perspectives they have, but in the end it all comes out to being safe and practicing safety where you are and as a person as a whole. If you might have a speaker in mind or you might like to speak yourself at one of the United Safety Council networking luncheons, just give us a call anytime. We'd love to hear from you. And if you would, don't forget, go to our Facebook page, give us a like, and we hope to see you at the next. United Safety Council networking luncheon.